Uh oh. Looks like we got a problem. Well, looks like my uh, my U joints need replacing on my drive shaft. Another problem coming up. So we got to see what we got to do with that. Find a place that can fix that for me because. At 68 years old, the last thing I want to do is get on the ground and fix that myself. Even though I know it's probably pretty easy to do. But we'll have to find out. Yep, so it looks like I got issues. I got my U-joints I got to replace on my drive shaft. Got to find a mechanic for that. I also need front disc brakes, which I have to do. And I got problems with that too, because I know last time I did it, one of the bolts that holds the calibers in, the where it goes into the block, it's all stripped out and it's got a heli curl in there that's kind of kind of messed up so i gotta redo that whole system there i'll probably do that myself and i need tires i gotta gonna put some good mud tires on there I'm not sure which ones yet but i'm gonna get something rugged to real so i can get off road so that's our situation and now we're gonna search around try to find some parts and get this fixed Yep, that's called pre-warming the coffee cup up because it was about 36 degrees this morning out here. Oh man, that is good, especially on a nice cold morning. So, welcome back all my friends. We got another day here. So, I have got my drive shaft fixed. So I went under there the other day, and oh man, they, they were everything was moving everywhere. They were just shot. So I was tempted to do it myself out in the desert, and I said, nah, that's 68 years old. Hell no. So I did find this small mechanic here in Quartzsite that, you don't know, got great reviews. I went there. He turned out to be pretty cool. I got that fixed. So... I didn't get much video. I wanted to get in there, do some video of him fixing it up and stuff like that, but I just didn't get a chance to do it. So that's all fixed. My next upgrade, I just ordered new mud tires for my Jeep. That's a thousand twenty dollars for that. Ooh, baby, <laughs> this gets expensive. So that's coming in next week. So what other grades? And then my brakes got to be done, and I got problems with that too. So that's another task. But on the Anyway, so what I'm thinking of doing on this video, since last year, uh, the season, I did a lot of fishing. I mean, a crazy amount of fishing. So I, I pretty much fished in 41 different streams and creeks this, this year so far. It was amazing. So I didn't do any video, I know, but next year I definitely will be. But I did take a lot of still pictures. So I'm going to bring all those pictures up show some of those pictures and go through them and I got a whole bunch of pictures I'm going to segregate it I've got pictures of some of the campsites that I stayed right on the river absolutely beautiful campsites just right on the river just walk out the door I got the fishing right there a lot of campsites I camped at though I probably was maybe 100 feet if less from the river but you couldn't see the river at all couldn't be exactly right on it so I didn't put them in there but I was it was been crazy and let's see what else happened this year and I almost got killed <laughs> I had I was down in Silver Creek Idaho lower part fishing that I got charged twice by a bull mole just bull, bull moose their babies just protected their babies but man coming at me one of them was just standing in the middle of the stream and a her herd of them I mean probably four or five of them I saw him out in the distance came around walked jumped into the water and th they all came at me but the one came directly straight at me and it was probably three feet from me before it veered off around like a fake charge I guess to scare me but it was enough to go, oh baby, <laughs> this could have turned out pretty bad. And it was like, no place to go. I'm in the middle of the river. And I'm just stuck there. And then he went around me. I did get pictures of that. 
of them going across the stream. I couldn't get my camera out in time when everything else was happening. So, so these are the pictures of the moose going through the water right by me after they charged me. Check them out. Yeah, so those are some of the pictures of the moose. That I had to make a side trip to Walmart buy more underwear. Can I say? So, but I also did at the end of the season. That was in the beginning of the season, early in the season, just when the trout season kind of opened up there for trout. So I went back there at the end of the season on my way back to here to the desert as it's getting colder. I decided to try it one more time. I was a little scared. It was a little high on high end there. So I was fishing and had a bull moose came by this time. Not a mama moose, but a bull moose with a big rack on there, man. And it kind of just looked at me, didn't charge me, just looked at me, kind of put its hoods da hood down a little bit, its horns down. And I said, oh, I backed away and that was it. I will never fish that river again in my life. I mean, I had some problems with grizzlies. I've seen grizzlies and stuff up north this year. Never had a problem, but the moose, that's a different story. So now here's some pictures of some of the campsites I stayed at. And they're, they're pretty cool. It's just to get, you know, can do a video, but I guess this will do for, for this year. So check some of these campsites out. <music> campsites they were absolutely awesome there's nothing like waking up right on the river hearing that water rush of that river going by having that cup of coffee in the morning and just sitting there and watching the river and all the fish coming up and the insects and the hatches it's just ah it's just awesome what a way of living so after the, here's some pictures I want to put, show you guys of just some of the scenic stuff and some of the pictures of the rivers that I was fishing so check these out
scenery there is so cool on some of these rivers. Absolutely gorgeous. So, highlight that. Some of my favorites rivers that I fish that would fish really good too, but the most scenic rivers. They're so cool when you walk in them, you get this beautiful scenery. So, I think some of them were, well, let's see, let's Montana, the Spotted Bear, Bunker Creek, well, my, some of my favorites just for scenery. Um, and I caught a lot of fish out of there. I don't even remember some of the other stuff I did. Um, but in, let's see, that's about it in Montana. I mean, there's a lot of rivers I fished in Montana, but they're big, not really the scen most scenic stuff, like the Clark Fork and the Bitter Ruth and all that. We fished all that. Uh, but uh, Idaho, I think Idaho is my favorite for scenery. So we got down to this, the was it the North Fork of the Stillwater? Oh, it's it's a long ride over the pass, and it's just road parallels the whole river. Bunch of campsites along there. It was just such a beautiful river. I caught so many fish out of there. I almost caught a couple bull trout. Never got one. And uh, where else I go there? Oh, and then when you head down that way, you got Kelly Kelly Creek down there. That's another absolutely gorgeous river full of fish. So we followed that all the way down. And it was just absolutely beautiful. So yeah, it was just it was just such an awesome, awesome season for fishing for me. Just the scenic and everything else about it. It was awesome.
Also, I don't, one thing I did this year, I fished a lot of small creeks. I really got into the small creek thing. Even though they're not big fish, they're fun. And I got the little, I got a little six and a half foot three weight, and I got a seven foot three weight rod. It's just perfect in these little tiny streams. So there's a lot of these forest roads that I just follow with the four, four by four here in my Jeep. And it's just, it just winds around and out of nowhere, you got this beautiful little creek with a beautiful campsite on it. Out of nowhere. It's <laughs> nobody's back there. And uh, except the bears. So we we did a lot of that this year. <laughs> and my pro GoPro here decided to just shift, stop recording for some reason. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of GoPro, but I got no choice. Anyway, so yeah, we got all these little streams and they were really fun to catch all these little fish. They bite it. They come up after everything. So that's pretty much it my uh, weekend. I mean my uh, season. So if you guys have any, any questions about what I do, how I fish, or anything about boondocking, BLM land, anything in Arizona, I live full time doing this my fourth year out here. Just ask some questions. I'll answer it. Let me know. And I think I'm going to end the video here. I'm just happy you guys are following me along. I'm um, hopefully I get this channel going. We can get more. I can get more subscribers, a lot more viewers, and maybe I can make some money. Maybe add some more equipment to it. And next year, definitely, we'll be bringing you guys on my fishing trips. And while I'm here in the desert, I'm going to be tying up a lot of flies, getting all ready. So, thanks for uh, staying with me for a while. And we'll catch you guys later. And don't forget, never stop listening to rock and roll. And we'll see you guys on the next video.